I was asked to be on the worship center task force that I think our first meeting was in May of 2015. So this has been an ongoing process. Um, initially we met um, with, with many of the church staff and, and um, several of uh, other members of our church that have been here really since the very beginning. Um, some gentlemen and some ladies uh, uh, with a lot of wisdom and input um, as we kind of mold over a lot of the decisions and the needs that this church has. And, you know, the, really the goal of this task force was to, to be frugal uh, and make good decisions that were gonna be both cost effective but also lasting, that they would last well into the future. As we looked at things from uh, you know, needs for carpet repair, um, you know, we had some aesthetic issues that were soon becoming safety issues. Um, we've, you know, we had pews that were, were starting to break down. Um, we had leaky roofs and we had um, you know, heating and cooling systems that were gonna be in need of repair. We had sound equipment. Um, that was going out and in need of repair. Um, there were acoustical issues in the church um, where there's difficulty hearing in some areas. And it was also neat to see that there wasn't a, an agenda that was being driven. It was truly um, wanting to, to seek wise counsel, um, to make wise decisions um, that were best gonna serve the church body. What it's impacted upon me or impressed upon me is that um, you know we've got a, a church that functions very well, that um, it's, it's hard as in the right place, which is reaching people, um, reaching the world for, for Christ. And, um, you know, that, as we talk about the repairs, that was even the, the focus of that. How are we best going to be able to reach people, whether it be through the TV or the sound system, um, or even just the comfort of, of sitting in the pews? The cool thing about this uh, whole story is, is that initially we had hoped to roll this out at the 30th anniversary. But because of some concerns about adding additional debt and, and delaying our um, time and being debt free, that, that those decisions were delayed until there was agreement on the committee that the timing was right. And um, you know there was a lot of patience exercised um, in those meetings and in the timing of all of this. And it's neat that the timing is now, that we are debt free and that we have the opportunity to make these repairs to our, our facility so that um, you know, it can be utilized uh, both efficiently and effectively into the, to the next you know, many years to come and we can do that debt free. And um, what I think would be also incredible is if not only would these, you know, we be able to address these needs that are specific to um, the King campaign, but many of the items that were left off of the list, if those could also be addressed just from the overflow, that would be a neat thing.